COVID vaccines used in the UK have been found to produce antibodies in close to 100% of all people involved in a study revealed today. In a study of the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines, 96.42% of people who had either vaccine developed antibodies. Indeed, the antibodies were produced between 28 to 34 days from the first dose, which was hailed by academics involved in the study. Dr. Maddy Shrotri said, this is one of the earliest real-world vaccine studies in the UK and it is fantastic news. The production of antibodies rose to 99.08% within 7 to 14 days of the second jab. With the vaccine rate surging in the UK, the production of antibodies is seen as a longer-term mark of future immunity to the virus. The data from the University College London UCL, study also supports the theory that both vaccines are highly effective against the virus, despite some skepticism over the AstraZeneca drug in Europe. Dr. Shrotri said, over 9 out of 10 adults in the UK who had either the Pfizer or AstraZeneca vaccine produced antibodies against the virus within a month of their first shot. How well these vaccines work is remarkable, especially given the speed at which they've been developed. It's a real feat of science in the face of the most devastating pandemic in a century. In a further boost, the average age of the study was 65, meaning those most at risk and have received their vaccine, may now have antibodies. Academics also reiterated the importance of receiving the second dose of the vaccine on time due to the increase in antibody production. The study from the UCL Virus Watch project also showed antibody production was higher among younger adults. However, when receiving the second dose antibody production increased to a uniform level. Professor Rob Aldridge from the study also said, the UCL Virus Watch data shows that for older adults and for people with underlying health conditions, the antibody response is a bit weaker after the first dose of the vaccine, but strong after the second dose. It is a timely reminder about the importance of getting the second dose of the vaccine.